Hi, I'm Darren from AuthorizeNet, and today I would like to talk to you about the Virtual Terminal. The Virtual Terminal is a feature of the Merchant Interface that allows you to manually submit charges or refunds using any internet-connected computer and a web browser. To access the Virtual Terminal, you will need to log into the Merchant Interface located at https colon forward slash forward slash account dot authorized dot net or via the AuthorizeNet homepage. Once you have logged in, you will find three links to the virtual terminal. You can click on Tools in the top navigation bar, or you can click on either of the virtual terminal links on the left side of the page. Let's click on this link to get started. You will need to select a payment method. You may submit either a charge or a refund. You will need to select a transaction type. There are three different types of transactions to choose from. Authorize and Capture is the most common. This transaction is submitted for authorization and, if approved, is automatically sent for settlement. An Authorize Only transaction is submitted for authorization and then held until it is manually captured from the unsettled transaction page of the merchant interface. A Capture Only transaction is submitted to capture a transaction that was already authorized but not settled. It can also be used to manually accept transactions that were declined on the payment gateway due to address verification service or card code verification transaction filtering. For more information about transaction types, you can click the help link at the top right of any page within the merchant interface or you can visit our knowledge base at www.authorize.net forward slash help. In the Payment Authorization Information section, you'll see that the card number, expiration date, and amount fields are marked with an asterisk and are required for the transaction. If you are processing a card not present transaction, you may enter the card code verification information. All of the following fields can be customized so that they appear on the virtual terminal page or not. If they do appear, you can decide if they are required or not. The fields that you have chosen will be displayed on the transaction details page. To configure the virtual terminal account settings, let's go to settings under the account menu. On this page, you will find all of the fields that you may select or require for your transactions. The fields that you select will show up in the virtual terminal. If you designate a field as required, that information must be filled in before a transaction can be processed and will be marked with an asterisk. Once you have submitted the fields you want to include on the virtual terminal, click Virtual Terminal in the main menu to view the updated virtual terminal transaction form. The fields displayed will match the values you specified on the virtual terminal settings page. You may also want to check with your processor to verify if they require any other fields to process transactions. Keep in mind that address verification and card code verification carry through to the virtual terminal. So if you have those features enabled and enter data into the respective fields, the transaction will be validated against the records on file. We hope that this demo on the virtual terminal has been helpful to you. Thank you for being a valued authorized net merchant.